What is going on, everybody? MSGD back with some more uh, UL Monroe rebuild. Uh, won a big game last week against Texas State, who was trying to get to bowl eligibility, and we said, no, no, we're going to beat you by three scores in your own house. Um, Damon Cook has committed. That is great news uh, because we got guys. Uh, oh, okay, so Dwayne Wick is now somebody we got to be on the lookout for. Um, okay, UL Monroe is now a C plus for 75th in terms of championship contending. That is something. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's check. So Dwayne Wick, we gotta we gotta send the house on you from here on out. Like that's a that's a must must must. Uh, have to do it. Um, also, what is your what do you care about? You care about playing time and proximity to home. So let's hard sell you maybe, or send the house. I think we send the house. I think we just send the house. I think that's what we do. Have we already scheduled the visit? We have. Uh, let's see. Who else can we schedule a visit with? Is there anybody else that can schedule a visit? Nah. Okay. So we sent the house for you just because your top eight was coming up, and we want to make sure that we make it. Um, did we? Did we make your top eight? Yeah, we're number one. Hell yeah. Okay. Cool. So is anybody else coming up close on their top eight? Yeah. It looks like CJ Folk is as well. Oh, but we're number one on that. Huh. Okay. Is there anybody that we're not in the top eight for? Okay, so James Rourke, um, Jamie Dickey. Okay, Tony Bloom. Uh, but who are we going up against? Is that Jacksonville State? Oh, send the house. We we have more to offer than Jacksonville State. We should have more to offer than Jacksonville State, I'll say. Um, anybody else that we're not like... Oh, okay, so Pierre Calvin, he's gone. Um... So let's just figure out. Okay, so we have a few Seth Warriors, a few offers. Um, so we got to do something about that, unfortunately. Um, who else has any other offers? Because we'll just send the house at that point. So Tony Bloom, we already did. Um, anybody else with other offers that we can just send the house on? Um, no, okay. So let's go ahead. Who's closest to committing? And that's where we'll use the rest of our hours. So that would be... Oh, Valami Poe. All right, we'll send the house on you, and then we'll send the house on one more. So who's also pretty close to committing? Um, so, like, top five. What about you? Oh, you're to top five. Zach Smith. I don't know. I already have a good number of wide receivers. You know, like, what I really need are, like, corners, defensive line, Offensive line, so you know what? Maybe we go ahead, try to land CJ Folk. Maybe that's where we spend our last points. Because he's what? He's a three-star pass protector. Yeah, all right, I'm good with that. I'm good with this. I like this board. Let's see, with the addition of uh, our newest commitment, that brings us to 71st, second in the Sun Belt. Oh, we're behind Louisiana, who's cooking with three stars. They're just picking up three star after three star. So good for them. Okay, we got a bye week. That's good. That allows us to do some recruiting. That's fun. Let's see. Okay, so Valami Poe has reached his top three, which we're still there. Uh, Tony Bloom has reached his top three, which we should still be at the top of. Oh, we're to B- minus in championship contender? We're 57th? Wow, half a star school, and we're at 57th in championship contender. Don't count us out. Oh, CJ Folk. Okay, so we're now in a dogfight with Clemson. Bring it on. That's probably more confidence than I should have. Uh, Valami Poe, okay. What's Clemson doing taking three stars? What a waste of their time. Um, okay, is anybody that I don't have points on getting recruited by anybody? Um... All right, so with any luck, we'll get Wick brought in before they um, even get a visit. That's my hope anyways. Um, Warrior, okay, that's interesting. Um, Roland Nall, that's also interesting. We should probably put him, send the house on him just to get him in. Um, anybody that we're not recruiting get an offer? Not that I'm seeing. Um, and then CJ Folk, we're, we're in a dogfight with Clemson right now. 
Okay. Oh, we could get you in for a visit. Um, let's just do that now, just because like we need to do that eventually. Uh, so Dicky or Bloom or Poe. Has anybody offered Poe? We should just do that to get him across, just to finish. Um, so that means Bloom. No, that means Dicky. We're gonna go ahead and remove the hours. We'll go ahead and put ten on him later. Oh, whoops. Um, hold on. Let me go ahead. Why can't we? Oh, no weeks are available to visit. Oh, that could be a problem. Um, but we got him into the top eight, so we actually don't need to devote our last few hours. Let's go ahead. Let's see about, like, can we just, like, add time to our top targets, maybe, that we are devoting hours to? So, like, we can get to 65. Let's just get to 65 on him. Bloom, let's go ahead. Add to you. And then with this last one, can we add any more hours? We can. We can get 10 more. Perfect. Because we need the offensive line. That's that's a big area for us is offensive line. Um, we got a four-star center coming in I'm super excited about. Okay. Let's go ahead. Host Marshall. Need to win this game to keep bowl eligibility alive. That's at this point of the season... Everything is about keeping bowl eligibility alive. All right, let's see. The Marshall Thundering Herd. Can we take them down at home? Hunter Smith gets the people going. So you already know we're going to Hunter Smith. Oh, and we lose the score bug. Forgot about that. There we go. He he plays healthier right now. He feels a little bit healthier. That first run was nice. That felt good. Feeling good. Oh, I shouldn't have. I should have thrown that. That's on me, Hunter. My bad. All right. Ashton Heflin. Okay, let's see what we can get here. Oh, the left guard loses his block. Gives up the disengage. Uh, I think we go to the money play here. Let's go ahead. Wing trips weak. Shot wide wheel. Go ahead. Put you on this. Let's slide you to the... Actually, let's slide you to the left. Did we catch that? Oof. A would have been open, but I just didn't feel like we had enough time there. And I saw that it was man, and I thought a deep cross. That's probably open. I got a little lucky, I think, but... Okay, I tried to hand that off and it, it didn't want to go. Or I tried to throw it. I was holding down B. Probably for the best it didn't go. I mean, I think that the... They've been running a lot of man. So this might not be open. Oh, there it is. Oh, but he's not blocking! Baisley! Baisley, I did the math. I thought... I thought three of our guys versus two of their guys... We should have one extra guy, and it turns out our one extra guy was supposed to be blocking, which isn't helpful at all. Oh, I should have gone more to the right. Um, oh, come on. From the 39-yard line? All right, it's early, so we'll punt. But, boy, I don't feel good about this. All right. It's got backspin on it, so how much backspin? I don't know. Okay. Puts him on the 10-yard line. I guess I feel all right about that. That's not bad. All right, let's see. And they go right down the field and score. That's why we should have gone for it. You play field position, then give up a 90-yard touchdown. Makes me feel stupid. I didn't know if I could throw that one. I figured Hunter Smith had a better chance there. And I was right, he did. All right, this power read is everywhere in the playbook now. They must have added that in the update, which is a weird thing to add. Like, to add stuff to the playbook at this point in the season? Or the... Off-season or preseason? Just seems weird. All right, there we go. Picked up a big gainer there. Love that. Let's go ahead, go stretch here to the far side. Let's see what we can do with Smith. I need Baisley to hold a block for like 10 seconds, and he gives up the block immediately. What did I say? I said 10 seconds. That's probably a bit ambitious to get 10 seconds of blocking, but I needed like a moment. I needed enough time to run around him, and they gave me absolutely nothing. Oh, but that time he gave me something as Griffin...
Picks up a good chunk of yards there. That's a chunk play. I'm calling that a chunk play anyways. All right, let's see what we can do here. Okay, Benny Galloway. There we go. Picked up 12. We're moving the ball. The dam will burst eventually. You guys just got to believe. Averaging 7.4 yards per play. When have you ever seen that? This, uh, this Marshall defense, I think, does kind of stack up fairly well for us. I mean, certainly far from perfect, but I do feel pretty good about the way it stacks up. Oh, geez. Let's go with... Let's go 45 quick base. I kind of wanted to see if there was going to be some sort of... Something else. Like a read bubble, maybe, I was kind of thinking. Oh, my God. We just get caught on our blockers, as we are one to do all the time. Okay, I'm kind of relying on the bubble to be open here. Okay, well, can we get a block? We can. There we go. First down. Easy. There we go, Joe Baisley. Baisley's had a decent start, aside from that missed block. That missed block was killer. But otherwise, pretty solid start. See, like, if that tight end would just be a lead blocker instead of running 90 degrees horizontally, like, that would just be so much better. All right, hand that one off for sure. I'd rather let 10 chase me around than hold on to it with center root, and then who knows what happens. All right, we're going inside cross here. I'm liking this one. I like what I'm seeing here. I'm going to put B on an extra mesh just in case. Oh my god, they have a free rusher. What the hell was that? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I'm really curious to know which guy just completely screwed up his assignment. I'm so furious. Hold on. Who missed his block? The right guard. It's always... The, it is... Always the right guard. I don't know what it is about the right guard. Road to glory. This series. The right guard could be a 99 overall. The right guard is not getting a hand on the defender. All right, Cassis. Let's see if you can run this thing back. I don't normally run kicks back because I play offense only, and they've decided that the return kick is a defensive play, I guess, or the kick return is a defensive play. I don't know. There's not an offense and special teams option, so. All right, well, we got to run this. All right. All right, well, the announcer's telling me to go with what's working, and throwing interceptions is not working. That was... The fact that that was not a pick is honestly a miracle. All right, the cross screen. Oh, this could work. All right, we got to be careful because this game could get out of hand in a hurry if we're not careful. I swear to God, if it's the right guard again, I'm going to be furious. It's the right guard or the right tackle every time. Every time. It's the right guard again. Third and 16, just run the ball. I'm so mad right now. How is that not a penalty? Oh, okay. I guess it wants me to... I guess it wants me to play defense, which I certainly don't want to do. I'm trying to only play offense. All right, let's see about this cross Z dig. We gotta get points up before halftime. That's like that's gotta be the the goal from here on out. Just pick up the pick up a completion. I was gonna say pick up the first down, but that's certainly far from a first down. 
I'm so mad right now. I'm so heated. Get out of there. Oh, and he gets sacked immediately. All right, take off, Centerud. That's a late hit. All right, we'll go slip screen here and give it a shot. Oh my god, it only picks up four? Jeez Louise. All right, I need you on a streak to clear out that safety on the left. Thank you. All right, let's go Y stick. Um, yeah, I don't love a lot of this, but, and that was the part I didn't like was the way it looked like man, but it looked like they were going inside leverage, which man inside leverage against that play, that's not the play. Stenerud now is getting his confidence shaken. He's cold, even though he's done nothing wrong. I mean, he's made he's made some good plays. I've screwed up a couple of things, but yeah, there's just nothing. And we were averaging like seven, eight yards a play, and I just feel like nothing we're doing matters. Why is it not letting me just play all offense? There we go. The offensive coordinator for a reason. Well, I'm the head coach, but I'm the offensive play caller as a head coach. Hold your blocks and run right into them. There we go, Baisley. That's a big play. That's a chunk play. That's love to see that. That's what we need to get back into this is we just need as many of those as possible. Uh, we could have thrown that, but we also can run it. Oh, my God, but freaking Tristan Wiley, hold your block for like a second. All right, hand it off. Uh, that's a pick. Wow. That was the wrong read. Uh, the guy running the deep post was going to be open for a touchdown. I thought the safety was going to follow the other guy, and that guy was going to sneak back there, and then the safety stayed with the guy I threw to and not the guy I was expecting him to, and Baisley puts in some work. What a drive from him. Okay, we're going to get the ball back. We're not out of this one yet. It's going to take a relatively quick score. Oh, no. I don't know what I was thinking there. Let's see. Nope. Wear and tear is looking rough. I don't know why we don't just, you know, have the guy get subbed out. He's getting absolutely massacred over there. They're massacring my boy. There we go. There we go, Tristan Wiley. There we go. He's a dog. He eats. He's an absolute dog. All right, Baisley. Let's see what you got here, buddy. Can you get open? No, I didn't trust it. I didn't trust it. I'd rather just take my four. All right, let's go ahead. Let's see. Can Baisley get open? Can Baisley? Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Yeah. They get downhill so fast. It's actually insane how fast they get downhill. 
Alright, Smith. Let's see what you got for me here, buddy. Alright, what is this looking like? Yeah, we're going to slide to the right, I think. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Get out of there. What the hell is happening up front? There's no pocket. It is... Oh, my God. We have to punt. Fourth and ten. I can't go for that here. I don't have anything I trust to get ten yards. How is Toledo number 24 at seven and three? They're a team in the MAC. Oh, my God. Coach wants to go for it. Coach, you've lost your damn mind, but I'm with it. All right, let's run scissors. I feel good about scissors. Um... You need to go on a slant. I need you on a mesh, maybe. Oh, God. This is... I don't feel good about this at all. No. Look at the guy wide open over the middle. I made the same mistake twice. We got the ball back with an interception. Oh, that's huge. So huge for the program. Let's go. Thank you. Oh, geez. Oh geez, can he get that? Can he get the outside? He's he is not feeling good right now, but he can still pick up a good chunk. He's hurt, but I feel like at a certain point, what I'm doing is like malpractice to him. But how do we only have three guys running routes? Oh, we have an extra tight end blocking. It's like how is that like a route combination? Oh, Basley, that was. That was a dangerous throw. That was not a good throw. That was a bad read by me. I should have set my feet. There was a lot I should have done there, aside from setting my feet. But that also would have been good to have done. Okay, there we go. We picked up seven. This was like, um, I don't remember the name of the book, but it was a children's book, like a, a, young, a young person's novel, you know, like a 150-page novel. And um, oh, I should have thrown it to Y. I had Y. Oh, what the hell was that? Set your feet. I thought I stopped long enough for him to set his feet. Um, so basically he meets like the, the main character meets like, he's not very good at baseball, but he wants to be. And he meets like the ghost of, we're taking off. Oh, and there's nothing there. Um, so he meets the ghost of uh, Babe Ruth. And the guy, the ghost of Babe Ruth teaches him how to hit a baseball or whatever. Um... Hold on, we're going to send him on an out route just because I kind of need to hit the check down. Oh my god, and he's not going to get open. Thank you, Tristan Wiley. Thank you, Tristan Wiley. Can I get a thank you, Tristan, in the chat? Um, so the ghost of Babe Ruth teaches him how to play baseball, and then he goes his entire season, and he hits home runs in every single at-bat. And the entire movie, or the entire book is just basically like him coming to terms with how good he is at baseball and like how it's made him popular and whatever. But then the follow-up book, the second book is he meets the ghost of Ty Cobb, who, even though he sometimes makes outs, teaches him, like, the ability to hit. Um, and so that, essentially, that's what this is. So, like, when all I'm doing is running it, it feels like I'm hitting home runs on every play. Because we're scoring, we're doing better, even though, like, now, this offense today has been picking up more chunk plays, even though it's only scored seven points. I don't know if that's going to work. Yeah, no, that's not going to work. Uh, are they going to want me to take the field goal? Yeah, even though this is not a gimme, especially at this weird angle. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Yeah. All right, can we get the ball back? Down seven? That's the hope, anyways. Let's see. They've been running enough man where I feel confident if we can get the ball back, and they score immediately. Um, okay. Okay. So now we got to go the length of the field twice. I'm assuming without timeouts. I say I'm assuming because now I have no idea because I can't actually see the score bug until I snap the ball. Um, so I have no idea what our time... Oh, I can't even see the ball. I can't even see the score bug after snapping the ball. Okay. Oh, Hunter Smith is hurt. Oh, that sucks. All right, so we'll lose the score bug. We know we don't have a timeout. I'm putting you on that just so we can get Mayo open over the middle, hopefully. You need to be on one of those. Okay, let's see. Let's see what we can do here. All right, and it's going to be holding on the damn right guard again. I swear to God. It's going to be on the right guard. I already know it is. Oh, or is it going to be... Yeah, there we go. There we go. A little RTP action. Yes, please. Um, yeah, substitute. He has a high ankle sprain. Ooh, that does not sound like he'll be ready next week. 
Well, we weren't going to make the conference championship or a bowl game for that matter anyways. Oh, Wiley's got him. Wiley's got him. Wiley's got him. Let's go. Okay, we're never say die, boys. We just got to get a damn. So the difference in this game was the freaking pick six where the right guard crapped himself at the snap. So we're not going to get the ball back. We're going to miss out on a bowl game. We missed the extra point. I'm so disappointed. We should have won this. Yeah, that was, that was the play of the game. That was what did it. Right there, that was the difference. That's so stupid. Oh, whatever. That also hurts us in recruiting. We had we had uh, people coming. but So just like that, we are out of the... Uh, we're out of the hunt for a bowl game again in back-to-back -back season, so that's unfortunate. So anyways, without further ado, I'll let everybody go, and I'll see everybody in the next one.